Welcome back guys. In this section we will be deep diving into depreciation model. I will explain you each and every section, each and every column and what each column does. Columns with light yellow color are data input columns. There are four data input columns in the first section which is asset detail column as you can see on the screen and one more light yellow column is in sale of asset section. Rest of the columns are locked to protect calculation integrity of the entire workbook. Unprotection password will provide it to you if you would like to make modification in the model upon personal request to me via Udemy messaging. While I would highly recommend to keep model password protected. In column A1 you can put the name of your company organization. Column A2 you can put the name of the schedule as you want. Currently I have name FA and depreciation schedule but if you like to name something else you can do that. Since this model will be your base model when you start using it. So after this year you will be adding more years which I will explain you how to do it. Suppose this year is 2016 so you have to add year 2016 manually. But when you add another year as an X year this cell B3 will be automatically updated based on the year you input. I will exactly explain you how you can do that. Start year end year is automatically calculated based on the figure you input in cell B3 which is obviously year of depreciation. Generally all depreciation schedules are maintained in blocks which are for the each fixed asset in class. This model also does same. This block is for plant and machinery. First section in the plant and machinery block is for fixed asset details. This section is most important as it has key details for the purpose of all calculation in the entire model. Column A is for serial number which will give automatic serial numbers as you add more assets. I will discuss with you how to add more rows in the each block in later sections. I will be assuming you will be adding each asset one by one. Even if you have two units of same asset. The reason for doing same is to have accurate profit or loss in case of sale or disposal of fixed assets. Column B asset name column is for description of the asset. I have currently mentioned dummy names as plant and machinery 1, 2, 3 till 7. Column C is for depreciation rate. Values in these columns are auto generating. The formula in the column is 1 divided by useful life of the asset which is the very next column. Column D useful life is a column of data entry column as it is highlighted in yellow. For the purpose of straight line method of depreciation you must estimate useful life of the asset which is again depends on the nature of the asset and kind of business you are operating. Column E purchase date is again data entry column as it is highlighted in light yellow. You have to input purchase date or date when the asset is put to use in your business. This date is important as depreciation calculation is based on this date only. Column F is end date column. Values in these columns are auto generating. It is date when assets are expected to end its utility from the operation. It is calculated based on values you have entered in purchase column date and useful if you have entered in column D. Column G purchase cost column. This column is data entry column at it is highlighted in light yellow. Where you have to input actual cost of the asset. This will also include all direct costs which you have incurred to bring the asset to its operating condition. Column H is daily depreciation column. The most important column in entire model. The reason why daily depreciation is calculated to have accurate depreciation expenditure calculation where assets are purchased within the month on any order even date. For example the very first asset in the example here in row 11 is PNM1. It is purchased on 12th August 2013. So in order to calculate 19 days depreciation which is remaining days in month of August. Daily depreciation value is used to work out the same amount. Similarly if the asset is retiring during the month on any order even date. Daily depreciation is helping the model to determine exit depreciation expense for the period. We will see this columns utility and purpose in action in later section of this course. Next section from columns I to K is for sale of asset. Sale date is colored in bright yellow and also conditionally formatted. By default sale date is equal to end date which is column F. This is important to have accurate profit or loss calculation of sale of asset. You must only override this default value which is the end date when you have either sold or disposed of the asset with actual date of sale or disposal. Once you override these values in this column it, it will be highlighted in bright red as a reminder that sale of asset has taken place for this particular asset in the period. Column J is sale value of the asset. When you sell or dispose of an asset you must have realized some value for the same. Same value you have to input here. Remember this is data input column where it is highlighted in right yellow. If sale or dispose of an asset has taken place you must enter its value here. Even if you have disposal of asset for nil value you must enter zero value here for the purpose of accurate calculation of profit or loss on sale of fixed asset. In case there is no sale this column value must be nothing. That means you have to select this column and press delete key. This is important step in calculating profit or loss on sale of fixed asset. Column K is for the actual profit or loss on sale of asset. This is automatically calculated based on inputs in column I and J. Column L to O represents gross block of the asset. These values are actual purchase cost of the asset as you have provided in column G. Opening balance is carried forward of the actual cost of the asset. Addition in year column is for any addition which you have in the year. 
Similarly, deletion in year column is for any sale or dispose of the asset in the year. Closing balance represents end value of the asset, which is after netting of purchase or sale in the year. Once again, these values are actual gross cost of the assets. Another most important section in the model is depreciation calculation section which spreads across column Q to AB. As I mentioned before, I have assumed that financial year starts with Jan and ends with December. You can always change these values to any fiscal year, for example April to March or July to June. Calculation is performed by using very complex nested if function. It also uses date function. Also, depreciation monthly is calculated accurately, thanks to daily depreciation column as I have explained earlier. If you have asset addition or deletion on odd dates during the month, depreciation is worked out accordingly for the precise days of use. We will see these columns in action in later section of the video. Columns AC to F represents accumulated depreciation of the section. If you are using this asset model for the first time, you will be inputting your existing asset details in this section. In that case, column AC will calculate WDB automatically, that is for the first time only when you start using this model. Column AD is nothing but total depreciation for the period. So in this case, it is summation of Jan to December in depreciation section, which is column Q to AB. Column AE is deletion of accumulated depreciation in case of sale or disposal of asset. Column AF is closing balance of accumulated depreciation, which I suppose is self-explanatory at this stage. Last column is net book value column, which is also called WDB column or written down value column at end of the period. This is derived by subtracting values in column AF, which is closing balance of the accumulated depreciation from column O, which is closing balance of gross book values of assets. Now since you have understood how each and every column works and what are each and every section supposed to do in this calculation model, we will going through practical example for different different assets class as well. I will also explain you how to add next year tab, how to add additional rows, how to delete rows. This model uses excel tables for each block as you can see. Table as a structure references which are most useful in accounting calculation. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next section of the course.